Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tara and I am a mom of two boys, Lincoln who is two and Lucas who is nine months. Today I'm going to be doing a video on DIY activities that you can do at home with your babies. These activities are perfect for babies between the ages of six to nine months or babies who can sit up independently and also great for babies who are on the move. All of these activities are really simple DIYs that you can do at home using materials that you already own. If you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please consider subscribing because I make new videos on my channel every week. let's get into the video. So I've got um, just an array of DIY activities that um, we've I've made over the past few years. A few of these were made by our previous nanny, Miss Madison. So if you're watching, hi, we are still using these activities, which just goes to show that they can, DIY activities can really last you a long time. I'm going to start off with instruments. So these are both instruments that you can make very easily from things inside your house. The first DIY instrument is a drum, and this can easily be made using using an old container. Containers that have these plastic lids are perfect. Um, my nine month old loves drumming on these. Or you can always use your pots and pans with a wooden spoon. Babies love doing that and they have so much fun hearing all the different sounds and different noises. This is a great sensory activity as your babies hear all the different sounds and then they get to feel all the different materials maybe of a wooden spoon or the metal pots and pans or even a container like this. Put some songs on, take out, use the drums, and you'll have a lot of fun. The next DIY instruments I have are shakers. So these are super easy to make. You can make them with so many different types of things. Um, I've made them here with a spice container filled with beans. Um, I've made a few different variations of this. So this one has red lentils, and I've even filled one with rice. If you don't have spare spice containers. You could use Easter eggs and put the beans in there. Just make sure to tape it together so that the beans aren't coming apart. You've got a very easy musical instrument that your babies will love. The next DIY activity I have is a Miss Madison favorite. She made us a sensory bag. So this is just a clear Ziploc bag filled with colored rice and taped along the outside. And this is something that my babies have loved. You can fill this with anything you want. Um, you can even fill it with water if you have a baby doing tummy time. Um, but this is a way that my nine month old can play with rice without me having to worry if he's putting it in his mouth. He can still feel the texture of the rice. He can see the colors. Um, it makes some noise and he has a lot of fun with it. The next sensory item is a sensory bottle. This is one that I bought at Target from the Target dollar spot um, a couple of years ago, but it can easily be done on your own using things that you have at home. So all you'll need is just a plastic bottle and some colored water, and you can put whatever you want inside. This one has glitter and beads, and this is something that both my nine month old and my two year old love. My nine month old loves to roll this along the ground as he's sort of crawling to after it and he loves to see all the different um, all the different objects inside and my two-year-old loves this as a sort of calming sensory item we actually sometimes have it up here in our TP tent which we use as our little calm down corner and something like this is great for that the next item we have is also a Miss Madison favorite and this is a cause and effect toy. So it's a puffs container with holes in it and some string strung through it. So the string kind of goes from one side to the other and if you can see when you pull one side, the other side goes in. This is a lot of fun for babies. A um, little bit older, probably closer to the year mark. My nine month old has already started playing around with this and he's starting to understand the concept and um, having a lot of fun with it. The next item is just a DIY sensory board. So I've taken a piece of cardboard and I've placed white container lids and I've just hot glued them on here with some different um, sensory materials that I've also glued inside the lids. This has been really fun. Um, we've got some kind of foam popsicle sticks, some pipe cleaners. Up here I've got um, just a piece of burlap, a piece of felt, 
This is a command strip. Oh, he really likes this one. And a piece of sponge. So you can put whatever you find around your house in here. Um, babies just really love opening and closing these flaps, seeing what's inside, feeling it. This is a great DIY sensory material that you can do from literally anything that's laying around in your house. The next DIY is a tissue box. And inside I have um, juggling scarves, but you can put any sort of material that you have lying around. Actually, different materials would be really fun to stick in here and have them pull out, but we have juggling scarves. This is just a typical Kleenex box. You could paint this and make it a little bit more fun, uh, but my nine month old is obsessed with this. He plays with it every single day, and especially these scarves, we get a lot of use out of those. The next item that I have isn't really a DIY, it's just a blanket. But my babies have always loved peekaboo and peekaboo in all different forms. So whether I'm doing it to myself, I'm putting a blanket on them, um, we're hiding a toy. I think that this is just an open-ended activity that you can find so much use for. They make a great fun activity that you can do with your baby over and over again. So the next thing we have falls under messy play and that is DIY paint for your babies. So we've done this with some yogurt and some food coloring. I like to get the natural food coloring in case he does decide to try it, but you can use whatever food coloring you have at home and just some yogurt, some baby safe yogurt, and mix some different colors and give that to them. They'll have a lot of fun finger painting and tasting it, and my son really loves this. Another paint activity that you can do is to take a Ziploc bag, um, you can put a piece of paper inside the Ziploc bag and put some paint in there, a few different dots of paint, and have your baby just go to town smashing the paint, seeing the colors mixed together. This is an activity that they really love as well and is something that they can do on the ground during tummy time or they can do it seated and it's an activity that my son really loves. Another activity that we love is ball drop. So here I have just a container um, from my pantry. I think this is another Miss Madison favorite. So she made just a container. She covered it with some construction paper and tape. And both of my boys have loved just putting balls in and taking balls out. Posting activities are great for babies this age and it's something that keeps them entertained for quite a long time. Another activity that we've been loving this summer is water play. My nine month old and my two year old both love to play in water. So what I typically do is while my two year old plays in the water table, um, my nine month old will sit and I'll give him his own bucket um, or container of water to play in with some toys. You can even do this in a bigger water bin and have the baby be able to sit in it um, if you don't want to like take out a whole baby pool but yes water play is something that we love also this is something you could even do inside your house just sit down a towel and a bucket of water and let your baby play those are the DIY activities that I've been doing lately with my nine month old. Let me know in the comments if you like any of these ideas and if you're going to try them out with your babies or if you have any different ideas that I haven't tried out. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing at home with your little ones. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.